on in Jules here from Jules Designs and JT Creations. So back in cold Scotland, um, first video back here, and this is uh, an unboxing for BB Crafts. And it's, I'm quite excited because it's all beads. I have opened the parcel, but I haven't opened the little boxes. So what I'll be doing is I'll be doing a, a, an unboxing video, which is this one. And then we're going to make some little angel and fairy dangles um, to go. Um, at the moment, I'm designing a fairy journal. So these will be really brilliant for that. And I will go over some dragonfly dangles as well. Also, I picked um, these stamps and it's the, the mushroom stamps, the silicon stamps. Um, and I've not tried them yet, so I'm going to have a look at them. Um, but they're mushrooms and toadstools, which is very, very apt for any botanical woodland journals themes um also fairy themes um and look at them they look beautiful and you've got little tiny ones so you can do the, the little tiny ones if you're doing any um the basket um you know any sort of like foodie type kitchen um these are the ones i think those are the chartreuse I don't know the name of all of them, but look at them. And I mean, you can colour them in and everything. Um, they're quite nice and thick. So what we'll do is we'll try this one. Um, let me get my... I've just put all my stuff away from um, arriving back. I've been throwing it everywhere. So we'll try this one and do i have a piece of ephemera that would look lovely with with a nice um mushroom on it right now i've got tickets these are all the things that i've been doing while i was away um this spare spare I knew I'd kept some spare ones somewhere. So what we're going to do is we're going to stamp on some book pages. That's an empty one. Um, that's got a bird on it, a bird on it. Got a mushroom. That's one of my own sketches. A bird, mushroom. Right, so we've got two here, which is nice, and we've got some like little pennant um, tags. I mean, it's just the paper that I've cut out. They need backing and everything, but um, what I want to do is I just want to try um, this. Okay. And I think I will do it in... the mementos um fade resistant and the espresso truffle now i'm going to try it on a piece of paper first because stamps some silicon stamps always have a layer of it's to protect them it, you know it, it's nothing bad but they always have a little layer of something on them so this is just some of the stuff I've brought home with me. So I'm going to practice here. So I'm just making sure that you can see. Wow, look at that. That was the first stamp. That is absolutely fantastic. So I think that will look absolutely lovely on my greek um book page i don't know what it says i know it's a crime book um because when i get a, a foreign book i do check i don't want anything not so good on it wow 
Look at that. That is absolutely delicious. Um, now I want to stamp loads. And what did I do with them? Oh, they're here. So we've got that one. So I'm going to do a little one. One here, I'm going to do the little ones. Um, and I'm going to try a different ink. Um, Inks here. I've got my new inks that I've not even played with. This is Peanut Brittle, another memento. I think it's like a woodland type theme. Wow. Oh, look at that. Is that not just. So, this is BB Crafts. Um, there will be a discount. Um, hang on two seconds my husband's shouting me right I'm back it was my husband he's just away out for a coffee Um, yeah so is that not so we've got that one that was done in the espresso truffle and we've got the little ones here that were done with the peanut brittle right okay so this is an unboxing video not a trying out but i'm sorry i just i just could not open it and not try it out in front here so these are beautiful stamps um and the it's diy h o sorry w h o 167 dash 56 dash 02 i will put them in the description okay so i'm so excited now um because i was wanting to make angel and fairy dangles i opted for um the wings and i'll see if i can make anything else um I have got some of these that I've bought in the past, but these are lovely. They've got um, they've got some that I've never seen before. So they've got the nice. You can put them up that way or that way. They've got these ones. And they're cute. Um these ones again up the way or down the way they've got some nice they would be like nice angel wings you know if you like doing angel charms and things like that and then we've got some really swirly ones and again they look like angel wings it's always nice to get a little angel charm and look at that, that little tiny tiny one <laughs> you could do some tiny little fairy dangles and these ones have got the hearts in them and the next video i'll be doing some of these so you'll see um how they're made they're quite simple quite quite easy these are the beads i'll be using um, I'm going to break my nails here so they're, they're, they're well packed and I like the boxes because they're organised so you don't have to um, start reorganising them they're not coming in packets like sometimes when you buy things so they're already organised for you which is brilliant and look at that oh look at them it's pink like like apple green and rosy pink and they've all got nice big holes look at those nice little tiny ones so these are the ones that and i'll make a dragonfly with these as well and again i will put the the order codes 
um, on the bottom. That was the one for the the wings because it's silver. And I'm going to have to use my scissors to open this one. Sorry. And again, there's the cord there, and these are the um, the pins that you use to put the beads in the and again you get a nice little box yeah they are in little bags but that's to keep because you get silver and gold in this one right i'm gonna have to i was wanting to keep that because i quite like the paper again ideal so you get your silver ones you get your gold ones and they're quite a nice length. You've got looped ones, you've got pinhead ones. Um, so you've got the ones with the, the wee pinhead on and you've got the ones with the eyes on. And they're for putting sort of like other dangles. Um, so you would put, let me open that. Sorry for making a noise. There. So you would put that in there and and then a nice head like that. And there you have your little angel or fairy dangle. You can put as many beads as you want uh, i'm going to put some lace on them um and things like that so they're not beautiful and they come in the silver and the gold um, let me put these back um they are the actual stick is just under well i'll, I'll do it in centimeters it's just over four and a half centimetres, but from the actual eye, it's five centimetres, so it's two inches. So they're an ideal size. They're quite bendy, so you can bend them. Um, so I'm quite pleased with these. And I just love the little boxes that you get in them. That That is so... I've bought them in the past and they've been in, you know, like packets like that. And I shove them out and I have a big box. Um, they get bent and everything with that way. They'll stay and they'll not get out the packet. The packets get ripped and things like that. And then they're all over the bottom of the box. So these are the little links um, for adding, you know, for adding more dangles, for doing chains um things like that and these are again they're in little packets oh look so i've got copper or rose gold if you want to call it in that size and i call that like the the steel um color then you've got another size and you've got them in the the three colours so they're ideal for making chains and things like that they're brilliant and then you've got the teeny weeny whiny ones that's amazing so I hope you've enjoyed the unboxing um it's like Christmas again <laughs> so we've got the beads we've got the angel wings and we've got the stamps so I'm in heaven here looking for stuff to do for my my fairy journal um, and it would stop at my fairy journal. I will use them in a lot of other things as well. I just love them. They're, they're, they're absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm looking to see. <laughs> There's that many wings. I can't see where they came from. <laughs> But there's some gorgeous ones. I, what I want to do is I just want to try this little tiny one just to give you... Um, I'm so excited. I just want to get on and show you everything. Um, so we'll, we'll use a silver one. 
and we'll do a smaller bead. Oh, that's um, we'll have to use a, a little one underneath, I think. That's it. And then the little, I think we'll put another little one on top. Um, there and we'll use one of these and there we are the reason I've put that you can use um, bead caps um, to go on there um, and it just stops the bead the, the holes in the beads are really uh, substantial sometimes you get these beads and you can't fit anything in them so they're ideal for threading on cord um and things like that so like anybody that you know doesn't like fiddly things these are ideal and then all you do is you and you can use the little frilly caps as well i don't have i, I didn't get any from bb crafts but i have got some um the frilly caps now is that not gorgeous and that's the little teeny teeny tiny little angel wings so anyway so i'm going to go and I hope you join me um, for the next video and it'll be called BB Crafts Angel and Fairy Dangles. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.